Hey, what's up everyone? Glock9 here and welcome back to Ramblin' Man. It is the morning of day 16. I've got one skill point to spend here before we roll out, so I'm going to go into Robotics Inventor Level 1. That will allow us to craft Level 2 Junkies, but I want to get this to Level 2 so we can craft Level 3 Junkies before we actually go ahead and craft one. Uh, now, before we roll out, I want to grab some of this clay soil here because yesterday I got iron smelting down in the forge. Now we got to get some clay in there. Then we're going to go steel harvesting because we're going to need steel to craft a junkie. Then we'll go see Trader Joel and then we'll go explore the city. Ambulance and medical supplies. Let's see if we can find a sewing kit. Get rid of this laceration. Vitamins and zombies. Hey, Kenny. Oh, shit. Damn it. <laughs> I didn't mean to hit him with a wrench. Back up, lady, for fuck's sake. Come here, Kenny. Dead. Hey. That's a motorcycle, not a disco ball. Look at this shit. Are you kidding? Oh, my God. Doesn't end. Stop for first aid supplies. We're going to end up needing more of it. Bird. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Are we done here now? Fucking massacre in this person's front lawn just because I wanted to stop and search this ambulance. There's another vitamin in here. Let's take that. Let's see what we got in here. Aloe cream, that'll give us a little health back. Can't get the full health, though, until this laceration either heals itself in an hour and eight minutes, or until we find a sewing kit. Fuck off, snake! Alright, how are we looking here? 35 pieces, that's good enough for now. That's not everything we're gonna need to craft a level 3 junkie, but it's a start. I don't plan on crafting one this morning, so no big deal. Let's stop over at the workbench and the forge, then we'll go see Joel, then we'll go do some exploring. Real quick though, I wanted to talk about something. Uh, I, I received an email from an Aaron Burke, so Aaron, if you're listening, Thank you for the email. A lot of good information in there, so I wanted to share it with you guys. It's about the traders. Uh, apparently, Aaron did some digging in the XML files, and the traders now all carry different stuff. Well, they tend to carry more of different items. For example, Trader Joel tends to carry better armor. Uh, Trader Jen tends to carry more medicine. Uh, Trader Hugh tends to, which is uh, Hugh Jackman, that's what I call him. Uh, he tends to carry more guns and ammo. Trader Bob, or Trader Rick, as I call him, carries more tools and vehicle parts. And Trader Wrecked tends to carry more food, seeds, and farming supplies. So I thought that was very interesting. Uh, and I figured I would share it with you guys. So thanks again, Aaron, for emailing me that information. Let's get over to Joel's now. Uh, I got a few things to sell him. We'll check his inventory because I believe it did restock today. And then we'll hit the town. Take that gunpowder. Uh, 762, take all that. And you know what? We should probably... We should probably buy this concrete mix. Because, apparently... Thanks for concrete has no drying time in Alpha 20. You can go right from cobblestone to concrete immediately. And then there's no reinforced concrete. It just goes from concrete to steel. So, the concrete mix will be good to hold on to for the next ward night if we need it you know all right let's uh go hit the town fit box what is that like kegel exercises hey luigi's pizza that certainly sounds like authentic italian to me 
Better not be deep dish, though. That ain't real pizza. Hey, fuck off, wolf. Yeah, I'm about to piss off a lot of people. Deep dish can fuck off along with cornmeal. That ain't real pizza. And it's not. I'm sorry. Pizza's all about ratio. Okay? It's about the ratio of dough to sauce to cheese. And deep dish, the ratio's all off. It's too much sauce. And I'm from the East Coast where we call pizza pies. But deep dish is like a literal pie. It's a tomato sauce pie. <laughs> what are you doing eating that shit? All right, listen, I've never been to Chicago, so maybe they do something different in Chicago. Because, like, Chicago's, like, where the deep dish started, isn't it? Of course it is. It would never start in New York, because in New York, we know how to make pizza. All right, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Honestly, I don't give a fuck. Deep dish is okay. It's not bad. I've had it before. It's not my personal preference, but I'm just looking to piss some people off right now. Charred meat. Yeah, whatever. I'll eat it. Better than deep dish. <laughs> Just fucking with you. Um, but seriously, one thing I wanted to mention in this episode. Yesterday, I posted a trailer for a new upcoming series to the channel. I'm not sure if you got a chance to see it. If you didn't, go check it out when you're done with this episode. But I just wanted to give a big thank you to a follower on Twitter that helped me with this series. Let's see if we can grab that backpack. Look at that. Uh, so, Just Tay, thank you very much for the help. Tay provided me with the XML file that I needed to make this series work. And spoiler alert, if you haven't seen the trailer, the series is called One Shot Kill. And in this series, literally every entity in the game can kill us with one shot. That's right, I tested it out. So, birds, one shot, we're dead. A snake, one shot, we're dead. Even cop puke or bird puke, we get hit with it, we're dead. So, we literally cannot take any damage or we're dead. So, it's going to be interesting. That's why I, I was kind of calling it a mini challenge series because... I've gotten through one day in this game plenty of times without taking any damage. But two days, I don't think I've ever made it that long. But of course, with with it in mind that one hit is going to kill us, I'm not going to play as reckless as I usually play. But I'm certainly not going to just be cowering in a corner, letting the time tick away to see how far I could make it. I'm going to play like I normally would. I'm just going to... Do my best to not take any damage, and we'll see how far I can make it. Uh, close that door. Sounds like the zombie's on the other side of this wall here. Let's, uh, go through here. Is this Luigi's apartment? Here we go. Pop! Let's close that door. Um, so what I'm going to do in episode one of one shot kill I'm going to provide a, a link so anyone who wants to try this challenge also or play along or whatever you'll be able to download the XML file and I will include instructions on how to um, drop that in uh, this way if you if you've never done it before because I'd never done it before either this is my first time editing the XML files, and Tay was nice enough to provide me with instructions, so I will provide all of that for you guys if you want to try it as well and play along. Is this a closet? Nope. All right, let's crack into this safe here. A level four wooden bow. We'll just sell that thing. Um... Here we go. Come on over here, fuckers. Dead. Stop big boy at the door. Holy shit. <laughs> he wasn't stopping. He was breaking through. There he goes. All right. Anything out here? Chair. Uh, oh, sport bag. Let's use some frames. I don't feel like falling down. There we go. Uh, I'll take the painkiller. Probably gonna need it. Let's get back up here. And the way to go 
seems to be out this other window. Things are a little shaky here in this city. It's definitely not running as smooth as it normally runs for me, losing some frames here and there. Now, granted, I am running this at, like, the highest settings. I usually don't have any problems, but these big, gigantic cities losing a little bit of frames. Okay, there's nothing up here. Let's get back out that window. And on to the roof. Come on. Get up. All right. Looks like we're dropping down. Bird. Bug off. Waking up zombies now. Oh, another big boy. A zombie trying to bust through this door. Oh, it's unlocked. Oh, knocked him right off his feet. Oh, he's dead. Uh, isn't this where we just came from? Those steps? I thought that door was locked. Oh, well. I think we got to drop down. Pretty sure that's the way to go. There was... Was there something over here? No. All right. Let's just hop down here. See what happens. Another little apartment. Close that door. Scrap, scrap. Uh, we don't need the glue. I got like... 50-something things of glue in the mini bike or in the motorcycle. Bathroom right here. Paper in the toilet. We dropping down. What's in there? Does that wrap around to whatever room that is? No. Doesn't look like it. Let's see if we can... Make this jump. There we go. Another little apartment. Shower's clear. Some trash in there. I'm good. Murky water. I'm good. Paper. Nothing there. Some clothes on the floor. Puffy coat. Nah. Actually, yeah. We'll sell it. Don't need that piece of cloth, though. Guess we're dropping down here. Another uh, apartment. Beverage cooler. Beer? Nah. I mean, I could use one in real life. Uh, in the game, I'm okay. I don't want the blurred vision. I don't know where the zombies are at. Let's get in the bathroom. Smart move. Barricade ourselves in a little tiny room. Murky water. I'm good. Oh! Oh, big mama. Breaking through the wall here. We got a crawler at the door. Not a big deal. Let's take care of it. Boop. There's that door again in case more zombies show up. Which it sounds like they did. Another crawler. No, oh, spider zombie. Shit. Oh, why is there only one round in the pistol? Why can't I keep my guns loaded? There we go. Floor two. All right, I think we're working our way back down to ground level here. Nothing there. And we're back in uh, the restaurant. Is this still Luigi's? I gotta imagine it is. Nothing. All right. Mega Crush? No, water. Still haven't found one. Oh, that looks like the main stash in there. Let's just check this toilet real quick. Murky water, I'm good. Is this something different? Nope, that's the same room. Oh, we got some zombies at that door, it sounds like. Oh, okay, pumpkin pie recipe. I will sell that. And that iron helmet, we're going to put that on. Get rid of this fucking Santa hat, finally. The holiday season is over, plus we're not in the snow biome anymore. I want to repair that helmet before we put it on, though. We can do that out at the motorcycle. Coffee! And you can go on the fucking ground. 
Oh, tactical rifle schematic. I'll sell that. All right, already. Come on in. Fucking skinny Pete. Making a racket out there. Cole, I'm good. Cole, I'm good. Oh, shit. Back up. Oh, I'm telling you, the soldiers are not as tough as they used to be. Here's some cloth right here. We need a bottle of glue. And then we can make a roll of duct tape. And then we need a piece of forged iron. Now we can make a repair kit. Well, we had our pizza. Now we need some dessert. And you would think this is a great location right next to the police station, but... You know those cops ain't paying for their donuts. They want them shits for free. So you're just over here handing out free donuts all day. Hey, there's a Mega Crush, finally. Hold on to that. I'll use it if I don't feel like holding on to it any longer, but that'd be good to hold on to for a horde. In the event, you know, whatever POI we're holding down fails, and we gotta run around on foot, uh, be good to have a Mega Crush. Murky water, no. Oh, let me search that trash. Nails, I'll scrap them. Hopefully that police station brings some good loot, though. Whoop, here we go. Bathroom. Nothing. Paper. Murky water. The hell? Oh, there's a hole in the wall there. I didn't see that. Good on the goth boots. Good on the t-shirt. Is this a plug? Don't think so. 1,200 hit points, that'd be one hell of a plug. Wasteland Treasures Coffins. You can harvest coffins for bones, jewelry, and precious gems. When are they going to put jewelry in the game? That's my question. It'd be a good item to have in the game. There should be items where the whole point of the item is to make a profit from that item. You know what I mean? Just valuables that don't hold any other purpose other than selling them for coin. There's a lock pick. There's the meth lab. This is where Kenny lives. Come on now. Oh, a couple businessmen, see? Yeah, they were cooking something up in here. What the hell was in here again? Coal. We don't need that. All right, upstairs we go then. Rooftop should bring us over to uh, the police station, I imagine. Oh yeah, I bet that's what this is. Looks like a police station to me. Let's do it. Should definitely be some cops in here, at least one, right? Where are you at? Outside? Nah, I'm not worried about it. Gunpowder. Uh, is that a plug? Nope. Nothing up there. Nothing up there. There's a ladder going up. Hey, lady. Let's knock her off the roof just for our own personal amusement. There she goes. <laughs> Boom. And she's getting up. We'll deal with her later. There's a flashlight pointing the way. But uh, back up, big boy. Before we go down there, kind of want to see what that ladder was going up. There's nothing down there. You know? What was this ladder doing over here if we're supposed to drop down? Alright. Well, not much going on here. Unlocked. Oh, look at that. That's cool. It's like a window hatch. Man, I gotta look into all the stuff that was added. Stuff that can be crafted, like that window hatch, or the, uh, 
the cellar doors, you know, and see what you need to craft all this stuff. Because I'm not, you know, I didn't even know that shit was in the game. Oh, here we go. Oh, dead. That was easy. Grab these chairs. Scrap them for the wood. We almost have a full stack of wood. Makes me question on whether or not we even need to be holding on to that shit, but it does come in handy. Now and again. I haven't been using it to craft frames because we found all the damn frames in the supply drops. Ah, the interrogation room. This is where they bring you to tell you that your friends ratted on you, even though they didn't rat on you, they just want to try and get you to rat on them. I mean, I'm just guessing. I don't know how it works. I'm an upstanding citizen. I've never been arrested before. Oh shit, this is the lineup? You better not rat on me, Skinny Pete. I can see you, motherfucker. More offices. I think we've already been in those offices. Ooh, staircase going down. I tell you, this is a pretty damn cool POI so far. All of them are. Honestly, all the new POIs. They did an absolutely amazing job on all the new buildings. That's locked. Oh, that must... That button must open that door. All right, let's keep going down then. What do we got here? Front office? Let's use the sledge on this dude. Oh, shit. Got stuck on that stupid light. That's locked. Clear. Oh, the jail. Oh, boom, dead. Man, that's what Skull Crusher will do for you. Knocking bikers' heads off with one hit. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, someone escaped. <laughs> Fucking Shawshanked their way out of this place. Is that a plug? Nope. Nope. <laughs> Damn, it's just raining nurses in here. I don't know where she dropped in from. Waking more up, though. Oh, cop! Boom, oh, look at that! One shot in cops also. That's why I always pump Strength and Skull Crusher and Sexual Tyrannosaurus. Why would you pump anything else? <laughs> you know what I mean? We only got that shit to what? Level 3? And we're one-shotting cops with an iron sledge? I mean, you max that shit out and you get your hands on a steel sledgehammer and you're basically unstoppable. Can't search the medicine cabinets in here. Paper, I'm good. Oh, scrap. Take, take, and scrap. Paper, I'm good. Alright, I guess we're going through the locker room. Here we go. Boom. Oh, skinny Pete. Got a hit on us. Oh, damn. <laughs> Knocked his fucking leg off. Crawling Pete. Look at that skinny ass leg. Level 5 Santa hat. Nah, I'm good. I'll stick with the iron helmet for now. Boots. No. Take the armor parts. And uh, I guess we're going out here. Walking along the ledge. Oh, this is what I'm looking for. Damn, that door has taken a beating. Uh, I need a, I need forged iron to repair it, not just raw iron. Take the Altoids. Main stash and a bunch of zombies. Uh, I'm not going out the window. It's AK time. Yeah, fuck yous. Oh, damn. Yeah. Uh, all right. Oh, I almost went out the window. <laughs> Good thing we had this shotgun as a backup. All right. I guess that's it. This button opens up this door. Which, uh, I guess I shouldn't have done just yet, because now I hear zombies.
Uh, what is that? The bunker buster? Iron breaker? Let's put that on the iron pickaxe. Level one iron spear. I'll scrap that. Take the bullet tips. And uh, we have one lockpick to try and get into this chest. Otherwise, I guess we're beating our way in. I mean, it's past hour 18. And uh, no lightning, no thunder. So we're definitely not getting a horde tonight. So no worries there. Which is a good thing because this place would be one clusterfuck to try and hold down. I mean, I'm sure there are plenty of easy ways to turn this place into a base, but not really knowing the POI, I would probably miss something, and then it would turn into a big clusterfuck, but either way, that's neither here nor there, because, like I said, no horde tonight. Look at this. Come on. Boom. Beautiful. Hey, treasure map. Let's go ahead and read that now. Maybe we can do this. North? How far north? Oh, there it is. Okay, north of town. Hmm, I don't know. We could go do it now. Or we can save that for the morning. I think I'd rather save it for the morning. Only because then that lets us kill some time while we wait for Joel to open. Yeah, this fetch quest will be fine. Alright. We'll do this job. And then whichever POI it's at, that's where we'll spend the night. Tomorrow morning, we'll go do the treasure, then come back here to Joel's and get our reward for this job. Oh, we got a storm rolling in. Damn, look how dark it got so quickly. Oh, we're out here. In the middle of nowhere. A little military base? Damn, this is a bigger POI than I was expecting. For a tier one job, but that's okay. Come on, dude. Alright, so this is where we're spending the, the night tonight, which is fine with me. And then, uh, like I said, tomorrow we'll do the treasure, we'll go see Joel, we'll get our reward. I mean, we might as well continuously bang out jobs for Joel and try and uh, open up tier two jobs, just because... This is a gigantic city. I don't see us leaving this city anytime soon. I want to make a few repair kits with this cloth. We need glue to make the duct tape. Come on, lady. Can't you see I'm doing something? And now we need a uh, forged iron. There we go. Oh, come on. Little fucker. Bone, I'm good. There we go. Three repair kits. Just because uh, our sledgehammer is going to need some repairing, and so is our shovel and wrench. Alright, let's get started here. That is a spider zombie. Ah, what am I doing in here? Just back myself into a little room. Not the smartest move. Yeah, bitch. Even with having a reload. Couldn't do shit to me. Yeah, this, this one-shot kill challenge series is going to be uh, super stressful. I'm going to have to do, like, some training first. Instead of just hopping right in and trying to record episode one. You know, last thing I want to do is die the first episode. It's got to be at least a two-part series. Now, keep in mind, it's just entities that can one-shot me. If I accidentally walk into some spikes or fall off a building or whatever, God damn it, cornmeal. Go away. Um, that doesn't... That's fine. You know, it's only entities that can one-shot me. Animals or zombies. Day 16. I forgot to mark the POI last night for day 15, and I'm not sure exactly which one it is. I'll have to go back and watch. I'll go back and watch, and I'll get that marked uh, overnight tonight. Going up. Main stash of this place is up on the tower. Oh. Get down there. Come on. Get down that ladder. 
or hang out right there. I couldn't give a shit. Uh, definitely not spending the night up on the tower, though. Oh, come on now. What we got up here? Oh, ammo pile. Nice. Uh, I don't think jumping down from here is a smart idea. Let's not break a leg. Even though there is a plaster cast down in this room here. But let's not do that anyway. Oh, hey, there's Skinny Pete. Let's wake him up. Look at him run with those skinny legs. He's fast. Oh, too bad he's not strong, though. All right. Let's get up this tower, grab the loot, and then we'll uh, get a campfire crafted and put down. And we'll spend the night in one of those rooms down below. Oh, shit. Wasn't expecting three of them up here. Damn, that nurse is aggressive. She dead now. Oh, so is Skinny Pete. And we're going up again. Oh, shit. Damn. Wasn't expecting another one. And, and see, in there lies the problem with this one-shot kill series. We can't just, like, be not expecting things. We have to expect to be surprised at every turn. I'm probably going to pump points into, uh... Oh, more damage with 9mm weapons. Going to read that. Um, I, I might possibly pump points into stealth. And try and use stealth for the series. Even though I'm not very stealthy. You know? Uh, ooh, magazine extender mod, that's nice. We'll put that in the AK. I think instead of stealth, probably put points into, you know, stamina, agility, um, run and gun. Um, what else? Maybe parkour. And uh, definitely sexual Tyrannosaurus. Make sure our stamina is up. And then we just need to... Um, you know, take it easy. And probably melee a lot less. Because I get hit by accident often do using melee. So we'll probably be using a lot of bow. You know, the bow a lot in the beginning. Uh, so I don't know, man. I have no idea how it's going to go. But I am excited to give it a shot. And hopefully we do well. And then, you know what? Kenny, come on. <laughs> He's always running away. Motherfucker. Uh, you know what? If it's fun and we do well, then... You know, we'll try and beat our record again in the future. Here comes Kenny now. You can't stay away from me, can you, Ken? Boom. Job's done. All right. I guess uh, we're going to call it a day. Let's go out to the bike, get uh oh, crawler. I just heard a coyote, too. Not concerned about the coyote, though. Let's get... Uh, oh! Come on, lady. See, right there. Boom, we would have been dead. And here's the coyote. Uh, let's go around. Surprise, bitch. Might as well chop him up. We are going to cook some meat tonight. Get rid of that. And that. And we'll hold on to the leather. I need a uh, cooking pot and some meat and murky water. Alright, let's go, uh, craft a campfire. Oh, goddamn spikes! <laughs> uh, I got issues. I got issues. That is something we can all agree on. Close that door. Let's put a hatch in just in case some more zombies show up tonight. Speaking of which, uh, Feral Sense is a no-go for the one-hit kill series. Fuck that. Moving forward, though... I think I would like to keep Feral Sense on for nighttime only. I think that makes more sense, right? It's a zombie game. It should be more difficult at night. Alright, got some meat and water cooking. We're good. I'm gonna hang out in here tonight. I may walk around and just see what we can take apart for parts and shit like those two military trucks outside. We could probably do that. 
And then we'll pick things up on the morning of day 17. We'll go get that treasure. We'll go see Joel, get our reward for this job, maybe take another job, or probably just go explore the city on our own. Merit, I was thinking we'd do one of those bigger POIs tomorrow. Probably not the Dishong Tower, but there's a couple of other pretty large ones. I was really saving those for after we get a hoard, but who gives a shit at this point, right? Let's just go have fun. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter if you want. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Ramblin' Man, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.